Hi everybody, this is just um, a video, a quick update really, um, about the treatment that I am trying to to save up for. I just want to say thank you to everybody who's shared, liked, donated, sent me messages and have really just got involved and tried to help me and I don't honestly think I could ever ever put into words how grateful I am to each and every one of you who have done that. So thank you. Um, the treatment that I'm trying to save up for is called HSCT and basically to cut it short really it's, um, it's, it's chemotherapy. So the chemotherapy will strip my stem cells away so basically my whole immune system will be taken out so I'll have no immune system and then it's like a reboot, so it'll get put back in. So the MS, in theory, the MS gets taken out of my body, and then I have a whole new immune system put back in. It's my immune system that's the problem. It wrongly attacks my nerves, and it takes away the protective coating, which then leads to permanent damage, scars on my brain and on my spine which then can affect things like my balance, my walking, can give me pins and needles, blurred vision, fatigue, lots of different things. And you never ever know which part of your body, your immune system or what nerve it will attack next. It could go with to your optic nerve. Some people, um, this is actually really sad, but some people just completely go blind. So you just, you don't know, it's a progressive disease. It's only ever going to progress, it's only ever going to get worse, which is, you don't want to think about that, but this is the reality. This is what I'm trying to get people to understand. So when you do see the annoying shares, the annoying GoFundMe pop up all the time, this is why. Because I know there there is no hope. Without HSCT, there is no hope for me. There is no hope. I'm only ever going to get worse. So at the moment, you know... I, I have good days and I have days that I do struggle. I have bad days too. I'm not going to start doing the stop story or whatever, but it, 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 can, it can be tough. Life with MS is tough anyway. When you've got children, it makes it more tough. You have to just, you have to get on with it. You've got no time. People say, oh, you know, make sure you're resting. No time. No time, no time for that, no time for yourself. You have to put your kids first, your family first, which is what you do. And with a lifestyle like I have, and which most of us have, would any of us have time to lie down on the sofa in the middle of the day and take a nap or say, oh, do you know what? Oh, I'm not going to go shopping today. No, exactly, we haven't. We have to just keep going. That's life. That's life. So with HSCT... It basically will change my life. It will cure me. So it will take away my MS. It will take away my old immune system, which doesn't work properly. Give me a whole new one. I'll, and I'll be free of it. I'll be free of it. Any damage which has already been caused, such as, you know, I get pins and needles in my hand, numbness, things like that. That that might stay. But any any further progression. So at the moment, I get blurred vision. But I can still see. I can still see fine. I'm, you know, I'm not, um, I'm not visually impaired or whatever. So, at the moment, my eyesight's fine. There's nothing to say when I wake up tomorrow morning, or the next day, or the next day, or whenever, or next week, next month, next year, that I'm not going to be blind. I might not ever get to see my children again. This is why. This is why I don't care. This is why I don't. I I've got no time to worry who's judging me. To worry who's thinking, oh, she's asking for money. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'm put. I'm putting. I'm putting it out here. Yes, I'm not begging for money. I'm asking people to understand. To understand why I'm asking for the money. I'm asking for the money because I have no choice. I have no choice. I don't want to be in a wheelchair. I don't want to be blind. I don't want to. I don't want to have somebody else take me to the toilet. I don't want to have somebody else shower me. I've had to, I've, that's what I've had to do before. I've had to have, you know, my husband, my mum, wash me, shower me, help me get dressed. 
no I don't, I don't want to do that I don't, don't want to do that permanently I don't want to do that temporarily but I definitely don't want to do that permanently that's, that's not that's not me that's not me that's not who I am and I'm sure it's most of you would feel exactly the same that's not I can't do that the choice is, is to me is, is easy yes without without this treatment I am only going to progress I am only going to get worse the chance of me being in a wheelchair the chance is a big chance there's a chance that I could end up I could end up in a nursing home you don't know and how 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 do I leave behind you know how do I leave behind four of my children two of my stepchildren for my husband to deal with how do I leave him on his own to do that well I will I sit there unable to do anything just just look about and watch there's no choice there's no choice here HCST works it works there's proven proven results that it works I've spoken to people it's worked on there's a man who's just got back from Mexico got back last, last week he's now able to take himself to the toilet by himself he's able to go out in the heat which he wasn't able to go he wasn't able to go out in the heat before he's able to do all this stuff now and that's just been in a couple of weeks there's people who were in wheelchairs and there's one lady actually I was watching a video she actually was able to go on a treadmill and run and actually run like like she's never not done it so this works this works so I can either sit here and think to myself I'm, I'm not even gonna try I'm just gonna have I'm just gonna live with the fact I've got MS and accept it and that's fine which I have accepted it I've accepted it but I'm not willing to live with it so if, if there's a cure if there's a cure for something and all it is is money and asking for people people's kindness and people's help and understanding if that's what it takes then that's what I have to do and I just hope that people do understand that that people don't think and look at it the wrong way and think that I'm asking anybody for anything I'm not begging I'm not asking people to feel sorry for me and there's none of that involved it's just I've seen this treatment I know it works I don't want to live with MS for the rest of my life so I've I put myself out there and I thought to thought right people who who want to help or who understand that's fine people who also you know don't understand or don't think it's a good idea for me to do it that's fine too that's fine but I just want everybody to know that I'm grateful and to try and understand that without this treatment things will progress things will get worse I will get worse with it I'll be cured and I know I can get there I can get there with everybody's help I can I know I can thank you